opinion, zero standing. They were fake electors and they were pretending to do something. Right. Jeffrey Clark is intriguing to me. He was an employee of the Department of Justice. Up to no good, but he has he, he's making the case that I was actually doing government work. Well, he's full of it. Because <laughs> he, he, was, he wasn't he wasn't doing government work. There was no government and work work involved here. This was the, the, on the back end of a hotly contested presidential campaign. Campaign. Donald Trump wasn't running, um, you know, a, an operation inside the government um, to secure you know, the rights for fill in the blank, or to negotiate a deal with uh, our allies abroad. There was, no, there was no nexus to the State Department or other government agencies who would be involved in this. This was a straight up political contest in which the president wanted to use the authority and power and instruments of the government to get his way. And Clark and others who are inside all those other, you know, even Mark Meadows, these government officials, and the moment they picked up the phone and called Brad Raffensperger, in my humble opinion, they were in violation of the Hatch Act. They did it on, on government property, on with, with government property, uh, having a political conversation, trying to change the outcome of a political campaign. So let's stop being stupid and getting caught in this space with these idiots and believing and pushing out their narrative because they are flat out wrong. And we need to be honest about that and stand up and push back against the noise they're making. They Never. want to confuse the jury pool, Ali, you know. This yep. is all about the jury pools that are gonna be put together over the next few months. This is not about anything other than that so they can get that one juror when yep. Trump's name comes up, goes, oh, no, Trump is not guilty. And the whole thing falls apart. Lisa, there's a whole separate uh, thing going on right now with Jim Jordan.